Hey everybody, here's this HP Pavilion A1410N, and this is the same computer that I had to clean out a few days back that had all the bad drywall dust in it, and at the time I made the video I said that was the filthiest computer to date, well there's one that actually exceeds that, and I made a separate video about that. Just, just to give you a hint of what, it's, of what that computer is like, there's mouse turds in it. That's probably all you need to know to kind of get an idea. But anyways, um, the power supply this computer had some back capacitors, so I went ahead and took it out and, and um, slotted it out for another one. So now I actually have three of these Hypro power supplies. One I already fixed and wasn't aware of it yesterday. So I went ahead and recapped another um, Hypro unit. So now I have one I got to test, and I got one that's already repaired, and I stuck the one that's already repaired in the machine. But here's the funny thing about this computer, and it seems like some motherboards get finicky like this. When you plug in power to the system, the computer just comes on automatically. It powers up. <laughs> and of course, um, notice here, it doesn't post. What I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and pull the cover off so you have a look inside. And of course, if you're going to move a computer while it's running, be very gentle with it because it's a hard disk drive. So the motherboard is playing dead right now, but watch this. Cut it off. I'll cut it back home. And now it posts. Of course, it's an NVIDIA based motherboard. These NVIDIA chipset boards. Can um <clears throat> can act strange. It said default CMOS checksum values have been um, loaded, so apparently the CMOS battery is dead. And this thing is going to boot into Windows <laughs> without letting me go into the CMOS and change everything. Look at this. Yep, CMOS battery's dead. That may explain it. So let me go ahead and shut it down and swap out the CMOS battery. Okay, I am replaced the CMOS battery and the computer started right up. No problem at all. But the only unfortunate thing is all I had was some slightly used CMOS batteries. The one I put in was like holding 2.4 volts rather than 3. But um. Let me go ahead and program this CMOS right quick, the BIOS right quick, and see if it holds the information. Current time is 1631, that's 24 hour format. The day is, is um, September. Let's stand this BIOS. He hit the right keys, it takes you over to the next tab. Today is September 8th, 2013. I'm going to set up the boot devices right quick. It's seeing the hard drive and the optical drive in one gig of memory. You set the video ad adapter right quick. CPU's running a bit warm. Okay. Next is saving changes. What I'll do is I will shut it down after it post unplug it 
discharge power supply by holding in the power button. Power supply is discharged. Press the power button a few more times. Plug it back in. See if it holds settings. And settings have been held. So we'll go ahead and exit out of this and go into Windows. See what we have here. And the owner mentioned it probably has a virus that's been acting strange for him, so let's see what's going on here. Now, as I mentioned before, but this computer has still got XP on it. This computer can e could easily run Windows 7 with just a memory upgrade. Seems to be starting pretty fast. <laughs> nice wallpaper. XP Media Center Edition 2005. I didn't, let's see, somehow or another the um, time got incorrect, I must have said it wrong. Oh, and, and the time zone is correct. What a joy. It is acting a little bit slow. Nose here, it's, hang it's actually hanging up here and waiting. Okay, here we go. And go change the time again. It's not 7.35, it's 4.35. We didn't just go from California to the Carolinas. <laughs> this computer was not in California. Let's just have an overview of this windows here. Inner Explorer is still outdated, running Inner Explorer 6. Other than being a little sluggish at startup, it seems to be performing just fine. I'm not having any problems with it. Pull up task manager. No excessive memory uses, no excessive CPU usage. Appears to be running fine, just out of date. Let's see what service pack this thing has. I wouldn't be surprised if it was two. Service pack two. This thing is bad out of date out of date. Windows XP Service Pack 2. Original HP install. Other than that, it appears to be functioning just fine. So I believe the reason why this thing was acting up was simply because it was so filthy. I mean, this, this thing was bad filthy when I got it. Seems to be functioning just fine to me. So this comes to show that even by simply not keeping your computer cleaned out, that can affect performance when your CPU starts to overheat. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.